Isotopes RX has established itself as possibly the premier application for audio repair, and the latest version, RX7, affirms that standing, with numerous improvements and new tools added to the collection of processes already available. This course is going to cover the full range of modules, both old and new, and should provide a useful resource for anyone who's serious about their audio and ready to jump into the deep end of the pool. RX7 includes, and in some cases updates, the large collection of audio repair and utility modules that have been used to solve countless audio problems over the years. Basic flaws in both music and dialogue recordings can be addressed by the meat and potatoes modules. The clip addresses what for years was a deal breaker in a recording, clipped audio. The click and the crackle are designed to eliminate short clicks and pops, or vinyl record surface noise. The plosive makes quick work of a common vocal and dialogue problem, P-pops or plosives. The hum eliminates 50 or 60 hertz ground hum that may creep into a recording, and the noise modules try to learn the signature of other various unwanted background sounds and remove them seamlessly, even when they're mixed in with the main signal. Spectral denoise is the general purpose algorithm, while voice denoise is more specifically tuned to dealing with problematic noise in vocal tracks. The headliner in RX7's collection of tools is its Spectral Repair module. Spectral processing analyzes the various components of a complex sound field utilizing techniques like Fourier analysis and allows them to be separated either via automatic algorithms, as in the Deconstruct module, or via user-driven graphic editing in the Spectral Repair module. The spectrogram display permits the user to visually identify certain, typically undesirable, elements of an audio recording and then isolate them and literally draw them out, leaving just the cleaned up audio signal. This may require a little trial and error, but at times it can work wonders. DS and Breath Control deal with perennial issues with vocal recordings. The Russell and the Wind address problems common to dialogue recording with lavalier mics and outdoor recording situations, like electronic news gathering. Mouth to click is specifically targeted to lip smacks and other vocal clicking artifacts. Dialogue Isolate addresses the task of extracting a voice or voices from a noisy or busy background. And Debleed addresses a nuisance familiar to any musician or engineer who has ever done a multi-track or overdub session. Bleed from headphones or other instruments. To this already established collection of processes, RX7 adds some new modules. Dialogue Contour provides the ability to quickly edit the speaker's intonation and inflection in voice recordings, and Music Rebalance allows for rebalancing the levels of vocals and selected instruments embedded in a full mix. But RX7 offers more than just these repair tools. There's also a selection of more general utility processors. There's a capable EQ and another tool, EQ Match, to automatically match the tonality of one piece of audio to another. Ambience Match offers the same matching capability for Ambience, the useful tool for location recordings. And the D-Reverb module and the new Dialog D-Reverb module allow for the removal of excessive reverb or ambience already printed in a recording. The Time and Pitch module is a modern time and pitch shifting tool, and Variable Pitch and the new Variable Time module let the user draw in dynamic time and pitch variations. To round out RX's capabilities and make it a one-stop solution for all kinds of audio processing, there are also a number of more basic utilitarian modules, including Leveler, Loudness, Gain, Normalize, Resample, Dither, and Fade tools. And several processors provide basic interchannel adjustments for stereo audio files. RX7's workflow provides several enhancements for greater efficiency, including the module chain, for stringing together multiple processors, Composite View, a quick way to process a number of already open audio files, and RX Connect for integrating the RX application with your favorite DAW. I'll be looking at those in a couple of videos. Of course, many of the modules in RX7 are also available as plugins in all the standard formats for use directly within your favorite DAW. And multi channel support addresses the needs of those working in post production environments. RX7 also introduces its own version of a highly useful feature from Isotope's Neutron and Ozone. Repair Assistant is an intelligent analysis tool that can provide guidance and assistance in diagnosing and repairing problems in audio recordings. RX7 is available in several versions. 
RX-7 Advanced contains the full complement of modules and features. The slimmed down version, called RX-7 Standard, includes a somewhat smaller subset of processors, but is still more than capable of handling most tasks. An affordable starter version, RX Elements, offers a basic collection of audio fixers for those on a tight budget. Though I may refer to it as just RX-7, the version we'll be looking at here will always be RX-7 Advanced. So let's get started. Before I jump into the individual processing modules, let's take a quick look at RX-7's general interface and a couple of its workflow options. 